Hi guys, it's Tohi. Today I am gonna show you how to apply for the Turkey Gov Scholarship. First of all, I will tell you what documents do you need to apply for this scholarship, what are the benefits of this scholarship, what are the eligibility criteria of this scholarship and finally, I will show you how to apply for this scholarship. So, let's go to the document section. First of all, to apply for this scholarship, you will need your passport or national ID card. Secondly, you will need your certificates and mark sheets. If you apply for bachelor, you have to upload your high school certificates and transcript. If you apply for masters, you have to upload your bachelor and high school certificates and transcript. And if you apply for PhD, you have to upload your masters, bachelor and high school certificates and transcripts. Number three. You have to upload a passport size photo. Number four, you have to upload your curriculum beta. Number five, you will be needing your statement of purpose. Number six, you will be needing two recommendation letter. Number seven, you will be needing your TOEFL. If you don't have TOEFL, you can apply for this scholarship. But if you have TOEFL, you can study in English with this scholarship. So if you don't have your TOEFL, you can still apply for this scholarship and you can study in Turkish language. Turkish university don't accept IELTS, so you can apply with IELTS to this scholarship. But if you have your IELTS certificate, you can submit it. Number eight, if you have any extracurricular activity certificate, you can submit those certificates. Number nine, for PhD candidates, if you have your research proposal or if you have any scientific publications, you can submit those as well. So now eligibility criteria. If you want to apply for undergraduate program, your age should be under 21. If you want to apply for master's program, your age should be under 30. If you want to apply for PhD program, your age should be under 35. And if you want to apply for research fellowship, your age should be under 45. These are the age criteria. Now we'll move on to marks criteria. So if you want to apply for undergraduate program, your marks should be 70% or more than 70% in your high school. If you want to apply for masters or PhD, your mark should be 75% or more than 75% in your previous exams. There is another requirement for health science students. If you are going to apply for medicine, dentistry or pharmacy, your marks should be 90% or more than 90% in your previous examination. For example, if you are going to apply for bachelor in medicine, you have to have 90% or more than 90% mark in your high school exam. Number one, this scholarship will cover your tuition fee. Number two, this scholarship will cover your accommodation fee. Number three, this scholarship will give you two wear ticket. Number four, this scholarship will cover your health insurance. Number five, you will get a monthly stipend. For undergraduate candidate, you will get 1000 Turkish lira. For master candidates, you will get 1400 Turkish lira. For PhD candidate, you will get 1800 Turkish lira. If you are going to study in Turkish language, they will provide you a one year pre Turkish language course as well. So guys, these are the basic things about this scholarship. Now I will show you how to apply for this scholarship. So guys, this is the application website for Turkey Golf Scholarship. I will give the link in the description box so you will access this website easily. First of all, you have to press on register and then you have to type your name, then gender, mail, date of birth, nationality, email, then you have to click on I approve. So everything's okay, I guess. Press on save. So you have to check your name if it's correct or not, then you have to click on approve. Then you have to go to your email to verify this email for this application. Here you have to click, you have to click here and then you have to log in. The personal information, you have to click on edit, you have to give your name, gender, nationality, marital status, country of birth, surname, date of birth, city of birth, type of your ID, you can type your passport or you can type your national ID card. Okay here, type of your ID passport, your passport number here and type of passport. For me, it's private. Country code of passport, you will find the country code in your passport. So you have to check it. For me, it's B, G, D. You have to upload your passport here and after entering every information, uh, you have to click on save. If you have any hobbies, you can include it 
it here if you have any special talent you can include it here then family information so you have to type your mother name father's name number of siblings is your mother alive is your father alive and if your mother works if your father works you have to write your father's profession total monthly income of your family then save now you have to go to the contact information here you have to write your country then your city then postal code then your mobile number phone number street address if your present address is different from your permanent address you have to type your permanent address here okay then here social media account if you have any social media account you can uh, give it here then education this one is the middle school and this one is the high school if you are applying for bachelor you have to include your middle school and high school information here your country city education stays if you are applying for bachelor, you have to select secondary education, general high school, religious high school, vocational high school, general high school, major field, science, literary, language. You have to find your high school here, then grade type, grade, here's the grade and here's the fraction. Okay, have you achieved any significant ranking at this educational level exam? If you have achieved any good ranking in your exam, you can type it here. For example, city, country, school, state. If you have participated in an exam in your school and you have placed first, second or third, you can type it here. If you have any certificate to prove it, you can upload this certificate here. Click on save. Then we'll go to the language section. So here you can select your native language and save. Then if you have any other language, if you know other language, you can add it here for example english advanced beginner intermediate if you have any certificate to prove it you can upload it here for example ielts to fail as i said before turning off scholarship don't accept ielts so you have to have your to fail but if you have ielts certificate you can submit it no problem you can give your grade here for example you got 7.5 you can type 7 here and 5 here and work experience so if you have worked in anywhere you can give your information about work you can do it here you can add the field here and one thing everybody have to upload their curriculum vita here so here's the option for uploading curriculum vita you can upload it here and after uploading it you have to click on save then we'll go to the academic qualification section so some of the turkish university do want gre gmat sat to get admitted to those universities so if you apply to university and they want your gre score or SAT score or GMAT score you have to upload your GRE result here or GMAT or SAT result here so here's the option to upload the result you have to select the exam name then you have to select the grade and everything but if you don't have GRE or GMAT or SAT you can still apply for this scholarship and social activities if you have any award project or certificate for example you have worked in an organization you have participated in a competition and you got a certificate you can upload this certificate here for example certificate write the details of the certificate here you can give the information about your voluntary activities here so finally turkey experience so you have to enter those information here and after that you have to come here so after entering all the documents you have to come to the my application and after you have applied for this scholarship your information will appear here so to submit this application you have to go to the home page it's here and here if you have applied for undergraduate you have to click here apply so the question is what did you do after your graduation from high school so what did you do after your graduation from high school you have to uh, enter this information here for example i attended a course and and save then you have to click on apply again you have to read all the things here and then i accept so after that this page will be appear and here you have to upload your letter of intent or statement of purpose there is a section for uploading statement of purpose you can write your statement of purpose here reference information you can upload your reference letter here i mean recommendation letter this is the interview location you can choose your interview location for me i can choose bangladesh and dhaka then preferences actually you can choose 12 universities in turkey golf scholarship it's written here that you can choose 12 universities and departments at most so i have added sakarya university as my first choice it's computer engineering and the medium of instruction is turkey you can add more for example biology biology english if you have to fill, you can apply for english for example biology english you can choose any university for example ankara university and then save it that's it so this was the procedure of applying to turkey golf scholarship so after entering all the documents you can submit your application and thank you